Hi guys, I'll just do a quick update before the uh, weekend. Currently day 156, 13th in population, dropped down to free so far. They're uh, free, rank free in resources per day and still free so far. Military still free and culture points 10th and 9th. Got the storage artifact backed and we've just completely maxed out our cap now. So we have 1.4 million warehouse and 1.9 mil granary space and we've almost finished in zero three as well holding 1.4 mil granary space and just four more levels on the great warehouse to go uh, still got 120 hours in each on the trainers um, great barracks uh, all of this is on the trainers as well and if we go to the great stable I think we might still have some queues nope they've just run out we've been intermittently queuing the great stable because uh, raiding's picked up again but uh, we've just had to stop for now while we get all the greats up. So this is going to be our hammer village and our cap now maxed out. If we go to the troop counts, we're on 82,700 Imperians, 40,500 ECs, and 11,300 catapults. Um, still partying, although we'll probably slow down soon because we don't really need many more villages. Resources, uh, we're going to start saving up for the trainer again. So as you can see, we've set trade routes now, so all of these are just slowly filling up. As we go along, which is quite nice, so we've still got two point, uh, probably about seven mil resources total just sitting around. Top ten, we've redone farm list. Both of us have been a bit more active this week, so we're back on the top ten as well. Hopefully, climb a couple more ranks because we've got a lot of raids going out at the moment. We climbed, we were off the top ten for the first half of the week, and we climbed on it yesterday, and we've just stayed there. So um, that'll be the update for now. I'll probably do one next week. Hi guys, unfortunately we've had a massive hit to our account over the weekend. So on Saturday the 7th of December, so three days ago, we came on our account to see we've been banned and we've been back and forth with support all weekend. So here we were told we um, were banned, then we asked them to review it and they said the rule enforcement team has made a final decision. They've confirmed your ban and penalty are correct and stated that a bot was used to scan Oasis from my Jules IP. Um, the thing is, my jewel he uses a clean version of Google Chrome with no add-ons. So we were going back and forth with them, saying we're top 10 radar, we have 400k standing defense. We haven't attacked Oasis in weeks. Why would we need to scan Oasis? And um, they came back to us. Um, yes, so, well, we took the punishment of we lost 5% of buildings and all resources on the account. So then, going back and forth today, we got, it's us again, our bot detection team has done a second review of your case, and they got to the conclusion that your detection for using a bot, bot slash script was a false positive. Therefore, the building punishment has been reverted, and we have been given gold for compensation. And here is the message, so this is the punishment we took. It was deletion of 5% of all building levels and resource field levels, excluding croplands and deletion of all resources in warehouses and half the crop in the granaries, totaling of 21 million resources we lost. And this was a massive blow because our queues are about to run out. We're in the process of getting the unique trainer again. And if I go to our resource overview, we've only managed to get 2.6 million of each now because we've had all of those resources deleted from our account. So we've gone back to support sending them a screenshot of this message here saying these are the resources that are deleted please can we have this returned to our account as soon as possible but the thing is over the weekend now because we were banned and we lost a level of each we're down in resources we were down in raiding we couldn't run the great stable at all so we're now loading troops we're delayed in taking the unique trainer as well so we're going to lose four hours of catapult queues and eight hours of barracks and stable queues on the greats so it's just been an unfortunate situation really probably make an update at the end of the week and hopefully we can get our resources back and get our account back on track so i'll see you in the next one hey guys and welcome back to another update so if I just go to the general tab quickly it is currently day 167 15th in population free in resources per day and free so far Military strength still free and culture points. We're not really worrying about that anymore. So after the fiasco of last week, we didn't get our resources back from support. So we were down 21 million resources on our account. And luckily, thanks to the Alliance doing an amazing resource push, we managed to get our workshop, barracks and stable all up to 200 hours again. We didn't manage to get any Q 
using the great barracks so these are all off trainer so we're going to queue them up during our next trainer rotation in the next couple of days and because of raiding recently we're able to run the great stable 24 7 now so if i go to the top 10 this week currently ranked seven at almost five million resources over two days which is looking quite nice um we've had <clears throat> medals for every week apart from one of them we missed out because that's when both me and my jewel are busy busy we've got another jewel on the account now fluffy is helping us out he's doing an absolute amazing job with raiding as you can see we've got eight thousand going out seven thousand coming in and all our troops are out so he's doing a really good job on that if i go to the troop overview now We've hit 98,360 Imperians, 46,300 ECs, and 13,000 Catapults, so our hammer's really getting up there. If I go to the resource overview, we've, because Raiden's been so good, we've managed to get so many resources saved up. So we're at 8.4, 8.2, and 8.1 mil of each. We're getting quite high on all the warehouses here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to get the small storage artifact, and over in, not... 20 sorry in a 21 we're actually going to get the these two to level 20 and then just fill a load of great barracks sorry not great barracks <laughs> great warehouses in here just so we can stack up a load more resources so if we make these this one and 22 quite high in thing because they're right next to our zero three here as soon as we get the trainers we can just raid these two and because they have massive storage, we're hoping to get it about roughly same as the cap, just so we've got an extra 1 mil to 2 mil of each stored up. So, um, oh, if I go to our Alliance Overview as well, go to the bonuses, um, we've got Commerce 150% now, so we've got that maxed out. I didn't realise we hadn't shown that yet, so yeah. So we've got Recruitment maxed, Metallurgy maxed, commerce maxed and then I think people are just putting into philosophy philosophy to get the daily bonuses now so it's not really important we're not actually partying anymore and we're not settling but if I go to the statistics you've still got <laughs> dwarf gods taco bell two chips kung fu grumpy polar bears loads of people are still simming really hard we're just getting a bit bored of it now we might settle another one or two but if I go to our overview and culture points we're not partying at all now just because um <laughs> we're getting quite tired of settling and there's not really a massive point in it anymore um hopefully we'll get the new unique trainer in a couple of days so i might make an update at the end of the week or next week so i'll see you in the next one